mother's been abusing her all these years holden it's never going to be easy for her no matter how long the leads barkley is going to tell henry that angel is going to the police and you can bet when he hears that he's going to stay away from her and whoever he hired to follow me he will call them off he has no choice everything's going to be fine don't worry so much okay no angel would never agree to go to the police she doesn't want anyone to know ever we both know that but henry doesn't have to well dad what is it that you want me to say barkley that you will stay away from angel never go near her again my own daughter do you think that's a reasonable thing to ask i had a long talk with her i finally made her understand that the only way she can protect herself is to go to the police and tell them everything that you have done to her she is ready to do that now and i will back her up barkley I had no idea you had so much backbone for so many years now. I've seen you as a weak, spineless drunk. I have been weak. If I hadn't been, I'd have stood up to you a long time ago. Where did you have this long talk with your sister? Out of the Snyder farm? I am not going to tell you where she is. You don't have to. I know that's where she is. Now. I have something to say to you, Barkley. Your sister has had a change of heart since your long talk. She is coming home tonight, and she is never going to leave me again. Well, don't let me keep you from your work, Caleb. I know you have things to do. I'm going to clean up here. Well, I should feed the animals. I'll just take care of this, and then maybe I'll join you out in the barn. I wish I could tell you why I'm so scared of Daddy. I'm afraid if you knew, you... Can't. You've got to be strong. He had the nerve to do that. He has to assume that your family knows what he's done. He's got his back against the wall. There's no telling what he might do. Exactly why I'm worried about you. Hi. 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 I'm glad to see you. You had Lily worried this morning. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I just had some things to take care of. Couldn't really find a phone. Are you done with work? No, I was at the Mona Lisa taking care of some things for the bachelor auction. I was going to take some time off today and stay with Angel, but she insisted I go to work. I have a... I just got off the phone with Angel, and when I talked about the idea of her getting help, she went to pieces. Do you think that it would be a good idea for me to talk to Dr. Michaels first? Yes. She might have some suggestions on how you can best encourage Angel to go to therapy without frightening her even more. Since you know Dr. Michaels so well, can you come with me? Sure. Let me see if she has any openings. I think once you'll meet her, you'll see she is very easy to talk to. Mama told me that Henry made a surprise visit today. Yeah, but she didn't tell him Angel was out there. Well, I think the most important thing is to keep Henry away from Angel until she's had some therapy. At least then she'll be able to protect herself. She'll be stronger. Hello? Uh, yes, this is Iva Snyder calling. Is Dr. Michaels in? Could you ask her to call me when she's free? I just hope that Barkley's strong enough to stand up to Henry and pull this off. You are lying, lying to my face. You haven't had a talk with your sister today. No. Oh, you are the one that's lying, Dad. Angel would never agree to go home again with you. She'd rather die first. And if you force her to go home, she will try and kill herself again. And if she succeeds, then it will be your fault. You gotta understand, Dad. She saw therapy when she was in London. She saw a psychiatrist and she, she was told... in Lake Geneva. Most of the time she told me she was in London and I know she would never discuss a personal family matter with a psychiatrist any more than you did when I wasted all that money on therapy for you. The only reason I never told Dr. Manning is because I was too ashamed at my own father. That's enough, Barkley. I am not bowling, Dad. If you go near her again, I will go straight to the police. No, I... you won't. Yeah. What's going to stop me, Dad? My deep love and respect for you. What you did is a crime, Dad. 
one of the worst crime- You won't go to the police. See, I know all about the little plan. You and Holden cooked up. Well, you, you gonna threaten me? Try to scare me away from ever seeing my angel again? But that was all a bluff. You look like you could use drinks, son. I'm going to go back to Chicago and wait for Angel to come home. Oh, you said I should go to Europe. You know, I think you should go to Europe. You've never been very good at business or anything else for that matter, but you could serve as my figurehead, supervise my European operations. If you don't, I will have you prosecuted for embezzlement, you will go to prison, and you won't get out till you're a very old man, and that isn't a bluff. I'll have Tina pack up all your things. I don't ever want to see you in my house again. You have a disquieting effect on my angel. Sleeping with my wife and for destroying my marriage. Caleb, maybe this isn't my place to say, but I think hating your brother this way, it hurts you as much as it does him. I, I should, uh, I should go round up my animals. You want to come? Well, no, I, I think I'll wait here. I'm not exactly dressed for a roundup. No. Uh, all right, well, um, I won't be long. If you need me, just, just yell. Okay. Okay. I've caused so much trouble for all your family, especially Caleb. Whenever we talk, he tells me how sorry he is for what happened between us, how guilty he feels. Angel. I know that you're very forgiving, but Caleb, he should feel guilty for what he did to you. Yes. Thank goodness it's Friday. Thank goodness it's Chef Boyardee pizza. Friday night fun starts with fresh pizza, and half the fun is making it ourselves. Thank goodness it's Friday. Mmm, <laughs> thank goodness it's Chef Boyardee. <laughs> Personal consultation at no cost. Now's the best time to take off all the weight you've been wanting to take off. There's a right way to lose weight. Nutrisystem. 1-800-321-THIN. She was driving me crazy, saying, we really have to watch what we eat, which means we won't eat anything that tastes good. So she brings up the subject of reduced fat cheese, which may look and smell like cheese, but sure doesn't taste like cheese. Then she tells me I am eating reduced fat cheese, and it's low in cholesterol. So I pause, and I taste, and it's good. And I say, okay, so we'll watch what we eat. Kraft Light Naturals, reduced fat cheese that actually tastes like cheese. Live at 5, your first choice for evening news, weekdays on TV6. to believe that it can all be over. But I know Daddy will never let me go. Holden, Holden. I have to trust him. I have to believe that he can help me. Who are you? What do you want? I'm a friend, Angel. Don't be afraid. Stay away from me. Caleb! Caleb! Don't fight! Don't fight! Caleb! Caleb! You get off of her! Now!
Can they do that? They're doing it. I don't know what's going on. It might be some kind of smoke screen. We've got to get together and decide what we're going to do. All right, uh, I'll be on the next plane to Toronto. I'll see you there soon. Goodbye. Uh, Sandra, get Fred Greer on the line for me, all right? Ah, Sabrina. Uh, instead of going back to my penthouse, how would you like to go to Toronto? Now? Yes, one of my clients uh, needs me for a consultation. It's very important. We can fly up there now, have some dinner, stay overnight, and come back tomorrow. I'm not sure I'm up to go. What is it about a fire that's so comforting? Hal used to build fires all the time. I guess I'm going to have to learn how to do that now, too. No, he's going to be back. Well, he loves you, he loves Jennifer. I've never seen a father so happy and proud he'd never leave her. Okay, Mrs. Myers, help me so you don't have to worry about my scorching the tea or whatever you do to ruin tea. Well, I'm not going to have any, not because I'm scared or anything, but uh, I need to run over to the office. How about if I come and pick you up when I'm finished over there? Uh, sure. I'd like some company. Things are going to look up. You're very lucky. But I'm sure you know that. Yeah, I do. And I also know that Tom didn't say anything he doesn't mean just to make you feel better. Look, whatever has gone wrong between you and Hal, you'll find a way to set it straight. And Barbara, I'm not trying to pry. I'm trying to find a way to help. Thanks, I appreciate that. Okay, now Hal is probably going to call me again when the baby is born. And when he does, I will do everything in my power to persuade him to come home. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for Hal. Because I know he's never loved anyone the way he loves you. Unfortunately, incest is a particularly harmful form of abuse because it involves such a betrayal of trust. Besides, Iva, have you treated any other victims of it? Yes, uh, more and more, actually, in recent years. I have, I have a patient right now who was abused by his mother. I don't want to mislead you. Therapy is not a quick cure. In cases like this, there has been such damage to a person's self-esteem and to his ability to trust others that it can take a long time, but people do overcome it and they go on to lead full, normal lives. I want that more than anything for Angel. That's important, because she is going to need a lot of emotional support. Is her father still a threat to her? Yes. She's afraid to turn him into the police. He really did a job on her. He's made her feel like it's her fault. Now that's typical. That's the way the abuser tries to keep control. Is there anything that we could say to Angel to encourage her to come talk to you? Well, aside from the fact that I have been able to help some victims of incest, you can certainly tell her that everything she says will be kept in strictest confidence and, and I won't press her to try to talk about anything until she is ready. She just has to take that first step. I've got to tell you, I just don't understand how a parent can do that to a child. I know. And look, I don't know anything about Angel's father, but frequently parents who commit these acts are just reenacting patterns of abuse that occurred to them when they were children. It's, it's like a cycle of abuse. It's not pleasant to think about, but it is true. Very frequently, the perpetrators of these acts were once the victims. Angel! <laughs> Caleb, okay. are you all right? Yeah. Are you all right? I'm okay, sweetie. I'm okay. I thought it was so scared. He's gone. I'm He's gone. so scared. I thought he would kill you. Oh, it's okay. Listen, I got a hard ass. All right. Are you all right? Are you really all right? I'm fine. I'm fine, okay? Okay. I just... Okay. God, I wish I hadn't blacked out the guy hit me with that gun. By the time I got down there, all I saw was the back of the sedan, some blue sedan. I didn't even get the license plate.
I did call the sheriff, though, and the deputy said they're gonna try to find his car, okay? It doesn't matter. It's all that matters is that you're okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Listen, do you have any idea who this guy was? No, no, I don't. I never saw him before, but... Oh, I'm almost sure it must be the same man that Daddy... I mean, I... You think your father has something to do with this? I don't know. I'm not sure. I... I think he was sent here to bring me home. He... He, he kept pressing that handkerchief against my face. There was something on it that made me feel dizzy and faint. If you hadn't gotten here, Kate would have Angel. Hurt me. Everything you told me about Barkley, about your father trying to put him in jail. Man. That's true. It's true, no, Caleb. I believe I you. I, I, it's true. Angel, I believe you. That's not all there is to it, is there? Angel, that guy almost killed me. And he could come back. Now, don't you think it's about time you tell me what's going on? children's vitamins. I help my friends out. Uh, I'm a, a peer facilitator and we have information at our school and we have there are places that you can go and if a, f a friend comes to me and say says that they need they need birth control or something they can there are teen clinics and we have the information provided at school so that's how I would help them out. Anyone else care to, to share on that? Quickly please. I, I inform my friend he um, occasionally likes to talk about the female in a kind of like bad sort of way. And I um, try to inform him that you should not. Or you Let me, I hate to cut you off. What's the final word? What should everybody do? Use abstinence. Okay. That will be, I guess that's the final word is to be abstinent in this particular issue. Cheryl, Charlie. Thank you, Norma. Students, to receive counseling on teenage pregnancy, you can call it. I'm not rushed. I hope I didn't forget anything. Well, anything you need, we'll just do a shopping trip when we get there. Actually, I think it would be a good idea to do a shopping trip anyway. You'll spoil me, Tonya. Mm, that's the idea. You know, I think when the Riverfront Project is the huge success I expect it to be, I think it will be time for me to purchase a private jet. Then when we want to take a trip like this, we can do it whenever we want. It'll be just the two of us. Well, well, well. All of us headed for Toronto. Is that another coincidence, right? Tina, would you put fresh flowers in Miss Angel's room? And then pack up Barclay's things. Hmm. Wonder why Virgil wants me to call him in his motel room. Is Angel with you? Uh, no, she's still at the Snyder farm. Why? I told you not to wait on this. I tried. I almost had her at the house, but then this, this guy showed up, a big guy. I heard her call him Cal. Then he went out to the barn with her. I had to wait until he left. And then this other guy, a uh, uh, young guy, well, he left too. Uh, and anyway, I went into the barn. I almost had her, but then the young guy came back. I had a hell of a fight with him. I gave you a gun. Why didn't you use it? He knocked it out of my hand. By the time I got it back, it... if I had shot him, Angel would have been a witness. I'd be looking at a murder charge. So I beat it out of there. Well, what do you want me to do now? You just stay there until you hear from me. Yes, Mr. Lang. Look, I'm sorry if... <sighs> Damn fool. I gotta get my bright angel back here. Put an end to this once and for all. Have you heard from Barkley? No. He should have finished his talk with Henry hours ago. Yeah, so how'd it go with Dr. Michaels? I liked her a lot. She suggested we tell Angel that she's treated other incest victims and that they've been helped. Yeah, that, that might encourage Angel to go see her. I hope so. I asked her how Henry could do this to his own daughter. She said sometimes a parent who commits incest 
was abused the same way as a child. That's horrible. Holden! Barkley, what happened? Did you talk to your father? Yes. I told him exactly what you told me to. And? He knew what I was going to say. He was expecting it. He threw me out of the house. He said, if I don't move to Europe, then I will spend the rest of my life in prison for embezzlement. And he wasn't bluffing like we were. I made Holden and Ivan and your mother promise they wouldn't tell you. Why? I wish I were dead. Angel. Angel. It's just so hard to believe. Your father was always so protective of you. Promise me, Caleb. Promise me that you will never tell anyone. No, I won't. Angel, I won't. I promise I will never. Angel. You know... The first time that we made love... I sort of wondered. I was kind of hoping it was your first time. I wish it had been. I wish you'd have told me. I could have taken you away from Henry. It was too late. And he would have killed you. If he thought you knew. He would have killed you instead of just sending my brothers to beat you up, you and poor Ellie. Oh, my God, Caleb. <laughs> you talk about feeling guilty. You don't know what the word means. Angel? Come on, Angel. You're not guilty. Now, you were just a child. You were living in your father's house. You weren't responsible. It's Henry who is responsible. Just, I'm just so sorry for everything that's happened between us. I never meant to hurt you. God, you turned to me for help. And what did I do? I just got you pregnant. It wasn't your fault. Yes, it was. It was my fault. I got you pregnant, and then I sent Kyla, you off to... stop it! Stop it! Don't you understand? It wasn't... It wasn't your fault. It wasn't you. It wasn't your baby. <laughs> two-ply paper towel. The sorriest spills cry for Bounty. The quicker, thicker picker-upper. <laughs> when you should be home, but you can't be home. <laughs> New Formula 44M. The only one for coughs that relieves congestion, runny nose, and headache. It's the multi-symptom cough and cold medicine. <coughs> I couldn't miss our last class. I had to be sure 20 people I am very proud of become citizens of this country. When you should be home, but you can't be home. New Vicks Formula 44M.
So, you and the bear are gonna brush your teeth? Uh-huh. Uh-oh, well, watch the brush. Well, now, you don't care about the icky dirt that might be deep down in that sink, but your mom cares. She cleaned it with Comet. It's got Chlorinol Plus, a power bleach. Comet gets the soap scum on the surface, then gets the dirt deep down below the surface, too. Uh-oh, watch the cup. <laughs> That's okay. That's why there's Comet. Deep down, you know it's clean. Shrewd bank robbers lure a rookie cop to the brink of death. I was pinned down with two armed criminals trying to shoot me. An all-new Top Cops on a special night in time tonight. When Farrah takes on Big Jim Brown, will Ryan take the fall? Uh, Bobby will be taking a remedial vocabulary class, and I'll be right back. Good Sports Thursday. This portion of As the World Turns has been brought to you by Comet Cleanser. Deep down, you know it's clean. Stay tuned for Guiding Light, next on most of these CBS stations. Coming up on Live at 5, News 6 talks with high school students about teen pregnancy. Plus, Washington correspondent Andy Field examines the war and its effect on the economy. Join us for Live at 5. Join us tomorrow for As the World Turns.